Yudi, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce myself. My name is Kunjung Asaji. I'm from Universitas Negeri Surabaya. It is an honor for me to stand here in front of you to share our research article entitled Analysis of the Physiological Adaptation Response in a Hot Environment in the Sub-Elite Para Swimming Athlete. I will divide my presentation into six sections. First one is introduction. The inhibiting factor for the exercise process in the training environment are very diverse. One of it is environment factor, namely temperature and relative humidity condition. It is very important and related with uh, act, uh, outdoor activity like swimming. The consequences that occur if a athlete exercise in the hot environment are that in the effect the decline of sport achievement and increase the risk of injury caused by hot temperature. So it is important to maintain thermoregulation so athlete can balance their body temperature as normal range, it can be achieved by maintaining balance between the heat and the body release. The second part is method. Research goal of this research is to analyze the physiological adaptation response in a hot environment in the soup elite athlete of para swimming. In this research, use pre and post ties design involving five para swimming athletes consists of four male and one female athletes. To collect the data, we measure body weight, temperature, and environment humidity during exercise in the morning and the afternoon session. Data collected for nine weeks start from Monday until Friday. Data collected, they are then analyzed by mean standard deviation, Wilcoxon test, and also Manwini test. Third part is about result and discussion. From the data that we had before, it is so that there are significant differences between exercise in the morning and the afternoon. Especially exercise in the morning session loss more body fluid than in the afternoon. Second, environment condition in the morning, hotter temperature and higher percentage of humidity than in the afternoon session. And third, the amount of body fluid loss that occur in the fifth week to the ninth week gradually decrease, it's really significant. So it can include that the athlete body begin to adapt in the condition of training in the fifth until ninth weeks. So they had to acclimate with this situation. And then we want to discuss about this research. So exercise in a hot environment can affect physiological response as the body of effort to achieve homeostasis. As we know, all of the athletes, they already acclimate in the fifth until ninth week in this training. And then, so it's important that athletes maintain hydration strategies that apply during the 
training program in the general preparation, specific preparation, and also competition training phase. With maintain hydration strategies, it can improve sport performance, the, can reduce the risk of injury, and help the body temperature normal and maintain body recovery well. The conclusion of this research, the first one is hot environment condition can increase the amount of body fluid loss. An athlete who train for the first time in the hot environment will lose excessive body fluid because they had not acclimated well. The second one is the physiological tolerance process still takes a long time. The adjustment of the body response to heat acclimatization will be achieved with minimum of three weeks training. Heat acclimatization is starting to show result due to the increase of the fitness level of athletes who do training for a long time. Suggestion from this research is athletes and coaches are required to pay attention to drinking pattern strategies during exercise, especially in the outdoor area. The trainer does not only monitor the athlete's training load, but also the physiological changes because by the environment condition of training. This is intended as an effort to prevent dehydration and also injuries in athlete caused by a hot environment. That's all that I can share with you. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.